If you've ever wondered how to reuse keyframes and animations from previous Blender projects, then this video will show you how to do just that using actions. So the first thing we need is something to animate. I'm using a Minecraft player model from the MC Prep add-on. Now we have to set up the interface. We need a dope sheet window and a nonlinear animation window. In the dope sheet window, click on the drop down near the top left corner and select Action Editor. To create an action, go to the top of the dope sheet window and select New. You should now see an action timeline in the nonlinear animation window. I'm going to call this action Standing and set the pose of the character. Then press the stash button or the push down button depending on whether you want the action to be contributing or non-contributing. I'll cover this more in a moment. Now there's an object on the timeline. We can click the star to make this layer our active selection, lock or unlock the layer, and enable or disable the contributing status of this layer. This action is only one frame, so let's create something more substantial. Click new to create a new action. This is going to be a walk cycle, so I'll call it walking. Now you'll see in the drop down menu we have two actions in the list. I'm going to animate the walk cycle then repeat the same steps as before. It may be important to remember to do any animation starting at frame 1 so you don't get confused about your keyframes location on the timeline. Now we have two action objects on separate layers on the timeline. With the layer unlocked, I can click and drag this across the timeline. To edit the properties of the action, with it selected, press N on the keyboard to bring up the properties panel. For the parameters I want to change in this example, I'm going to go to the strip tab and scroll down to the action clip section and adjust the repeat value. Now our standing action extends for one second. But you'll notice the transition to the walking action is abrupt. So now I'm going to adjust the timing and properties of the layers to make a smoother transition. With the layers overlap the desired amount, we can take the blend in and blend out values and adjust them accordingly. You can set this to be automatic, but for this example I'm doing it manually. I'm going to add a blend in value for the walking action and a blend out value for the standing action. Now the transition is much smoother. To return the character to the standing action, I'm going to right click and select split strips. This may cause some disruption, so I'll have to go into their properties to fix anything that was broken. There's probably a better way of doing this. Once that's set up, we can repeat the process for the end of the walking animation by blending both layers. Now the character stands, begins walking, then comes to a stop. We can overlay more action on this scene though. First I'm going to disable the contribute option for both layers. That way they're not disrupting our new animation. Then create a new action in the dope sheet. Repeating the same process as before, I'm going to animate a wave animation and overlay it on the walk cycle. The wave animation is conflicting with the walking animation. To fix this, I'm going to change the blending value from replace to combine. The wave doesn't look so good, so I'm going to edit the action I've already created by selecting it and pressing tab. We now have the action reopened in the dope sheet and I can edit the keyframes. Then press tab again to return. Now the wave animation includes the changes I made. So what if we made some awesome actions and want to use them in a later project? In that case, I can go to file, append, and then find my desired project file. From there I can select the action folder and then the action file I want. I'm going to select a previous wave animation I made and click append. Now in the dope sheets action drop down menu I have wave.001. If I click on it you'll see we now have new keyframes in the action editor. 
Repeating the same steps as before, I can drop this into the nonlinear animation timeline and replace the new wave animation with this one. Even if you don't want to animate with actions, they can still be used this way to import keyframes from previous projects. Just copy the keyframes from the actions dope sheet and paste that into your animations dope sheet. 